kill this deer since they got pictures of him back there. Hey guys, welcome to the Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. I'm Jim Davis. And I'm Dave Bunnell. And up first this week, we're going to head to Ritchie County with pro staffer Gary Stevens, Jim. And he's got a nanny doe that's absolutely driving him crazy. And he's about had enough of her. All right, well, we've had a full moon the last couple days and uh, it is uh, the 30th of December. I have been hunting my butt off and uh, no luck. My bucks are just avoiding me like crazy. Uh, they're in the feeder in the middle of the day. They're in there in the evening, they're in there at night. Whenever I'm in there, they're not there. So I've got one doe that when she comes in, she blows, she spooks everything. If she comes in today, I'm taking her out. Uh, I'm gonna try to hold off for a buck. I've got today and tomorrow to finish my season up until the heritage season starts um, in a couple weeks with the uh, 50 caliber cap lock. And uh, I need some meat in the freezer. So it's time to start uh, pulling the trigger. So, I'm taking the bow up first this morning, and if I can't get it done with it, then the rifle goes up this evening. I'm wearing my orange so I can use my bow and take either a doe or a buck. And uh, this afternoon I'll have the rifle in my hand, which it's doe season and bow season, both. They can coincide with each other, so we'll see what happens. And uh, hopefully I can get it done today put some meat in the freezer. So stay with me. Well, I'm in the ground blind. I made it up here. No deer on the flat, no deer around the feeder. And it doesn't look like they've been in too much last night because there's still a lot of food in the feeders. We've had a full moon, like I said, and uh, I'm thinking that they're moving more in the middle of the day because they're staying up all night. definitely hitting the meadows right now so I'm gonna try to hang in here until about two o'clock and then maybe head somewhere to get into a meta and watch it for the evening and try to get a doe. I have my elite with me right now and uh, I have yet to take a deer this year got one doe in mind that every time she comes in she snorts and blows and has messed me up a couple times this year so if she comes in I may take her my pictures have been showing there's been a couple bucks coming in in the middle of the day so maybe I'll get lucky and one will sneak in here and want to bite a food in the middle of the day my time is uh, slowly running out so I have the day and tomorrow and then Mountaineer Heritage season in two weeks so I need to put some meat in the freezer so it's time to start putting this whacker to use Stay with me and see uh, what happens today.
to stay in forever. And uh, that mama and that young one come in, got a bite, and then they left. So hopefully there'll be some other deer on their feet today and come in and maybe we'll get a shot at it, something else. You have to be tough to be the world's number one selling farm tractor. Mahender tractors have a tough, heavy-duty steel frame so they can lift fallen trees and everything else thrown our way. And you're tough, too. You maintain roads and mend fences and give your neighbors a hand and still make it to church on Sunday. Now that stuff sounds like we have a lot in common. Mahindra, the official tractor of tough. CEC, Civil and Environmental Consultants, is West Virginia's fastest growing engineering firm. We are a national firm providing local engineering and environmental solutions. CEC plays a vital role in creating jobs and opportunities for West Virginians. CEC is invested in the sustainable growth and success of our communities, employing local experts to tackle the area's most challenging projects. For more information, visit us at wearecec.com. CEC, Civil and Environmental Consultants. Big firm opportunities, small firm culture. D. Reynolds Gun Range, your go-to location for the shooting sports. Fun for the whole family, open Wednesday through Sunday. Enjoy multi-station trap shooting, pistol range, long range shooting out to 400 yards, indoor climate control benches, target camera system, archery range with elevated stand. Monthly and yearly memberships are available at the outdoor store. Make sure to check out the new and used guns while you're there. D. Reynolds Gun Range, your home for the shooting sports. Hey, if you'd like to follow along with the Brothers of the Woods Outdoors team throughout the entire year, be sure to check us out on all our social media outlets. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Mahindra of Clarksburg, your home of the world's number one selling tractor.
smoked her. I smoked her. She's going out through there. I just smoked her. Yes. <sighs> I've been waiting on some deer to come in all day, and those were two different does. And uh, I smoked them. I'll walk out through there and recover her here in a minute. come all the way up through here. There's a blood trail you can follow from that swacker. Nice blood trail all the way down through her. She's laying down there, belly, white belly up. All right guys, I got it done. Had the Elite in my hand instead of a rifle on our last doe season. And this old girl needed to go. She's busted me a couple times this year and kept me from getting a buck on the ground. So it was her time. I've got a day and a half left and I'm hoping to get back in the ground blind and fill another tag. I want to thank the good Lord above for giving me a day in his woods. And I want to thank you guys for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Jake from State Farm. I would like to formally extend my gratitude for the Russell rate on my insurance. Do you mean surprisingly great rates from State Farm? I don't believe in accepting help, but I'll make an exception. Here's the deal, Russell. There's no special rate. These prices are for everyone. Consider our square. I made that from memory. I know your face that well. For surprisingly great rates and great service, call State Farm agent Brad Wild in Dodgers County today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. With the shortage of real estate today, never settle for just listing your property. You need the competition of auction that Joe Arpaio can bring. When we were called to sell the contents of the Shepherd home, we learned that they were advised to list it for $385,000. They chose Joe Arpaio Auctions and we sold it for $539,000. Call 855-JOE-WILL today to sell yours. Do you want to grow bigger bucks and have a healthier deer herd? Hi, I'm Don Kaiser, owner of Grandpa's Special Mix High Protein Deer Feed. After several years of field testing, we have developed a feed that is high in protein, minerals, and vitamins. You can check our products out on www.grandpa'smix.com or on Facebook at Grandpa's Special Mix Feed. If you're serious about growing big bucks, you need to give Grandpa's Special Mix a try. I tell you, Dave, we've all had those big does that just burn you down every time they're around your stand or your blind. And Gary took care of that problem. Yes, he did, Jim. And up next, we're going to head to Harrison County with you, buddy, and you're going to shoot two coyotes with your bow. Hey, but up next is this week's tip of the week. Hey, guys. Here at Brothers Woods Outdoors, we know how tough it can be to stay scent free on those early season hunts. We are big believers in the Savannah Air Suit by Scentlock. This suit is super lightweight and will help keep you comfortable and scent free on those early season hunts. And I'm Eli Gain and that is your CEC Tip of the Week. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Mahindra of Clarksburg, your home of the world's number one selling tractor. Alright guys, well it's finally opening day here in the state of West Virginia. Uh, it's hot, it's about 75. Uh, I opted out of the morning hunt because I've been feeding Grandpa's special mix for about a month now and uh, charting my game cam pictures, you know, from, from 4.30 to 7.30, 8 o'clock, I mean, there's deer on it all the time, so there's no way for me to get into my stand in the morning without blowing the deer out and let them know I'm hunting. So uh, according to, you know, what I charted out, you know, from anywhere from uh, 11 o'clock to 3, 4 o'clock, you know, there's no activity at all. So. I'm going to slip in there. It's about 2.30 right now. Uh, I'm going to slip in there. We got three shooter bucks we're after. We got one-eyed Jack, which is a five-and-a-half-year-old ten-pointer. Uh, I call him one-eyed Jack because he's blind in his right eye. And then I got two uh, nice shooter eight points. So that's what we're after tonight. You know, we had EHD hit here last year, so we're not going to shoot any does on the farm this year at all. You know, the coyotes are eating the fawns faster than they can uh, produce them. So uh, we're going to help out our herd by not shooting any does right now. So, uh, who knows, you know, uh, like my buddy Dave says, you can't kill one sitting on the couch. So uh, we're gonna go sit in the stand this evening. It's just gonna feel good to get back out, uh, get the cameras rolling and see what happens. So stick with us.
guys, we have made it into the stand. It takes quite a while to get all this camera gear set up, secondary cameras and get everything in the tree and get ready so I get in here plenty early. Thankfully, it's a little bit overcast, so it was 75 degrees when I left the truck, but when, it's, when the clouds are, you know, over top of you, it's not too bad. The wind's perfect blowing right at me. I'm hunting a little travel corridor here in between two ridges. It drops off behind me and it drops off of the other side. There's just a, an old uh, gas road that comes through here. And I've been putting out some uh, Grandpa Special Mix for, like I said, probably about a month through here. Got cameras on them, they're hitting it. The shooters are spotty right now this time of year, but it's opening day. I didn't hunt this morning, so I'm going to hunt this evening. We'll see what happens. It just feels good to be back in the tree. guys well that's not exactly what I had in mind shooting on opening day of bow season here in West Virginia but let me tell you something the coyotes are terrible in here they're killing all the fawns they're killing the turkeys so anytime I got a chance to take out a predator like that I'm gonna put him on the ground my first kill with my elite archery cure is a song dog baby Okay, I gotta get down out of this tree. I gotta get down there and get that dog out of the path. Hopefully get back up here in the tree and maybe salvage my evening.
D. Reynolds Gun Range, your go-to location for the shooting sports. Fun for the whole family. Open Wednesday through Sunday. Enjoy multi-station trap shooting, pistol range, long range shooting out to 400 yards, indoor climate control benches, target camera system, archery range with elevated stand. Monthly and yearly memberships are available at the outdoor store. Make sure to check out the new and used guns while you're there. D. Reynolds Gun Range, your home for the shooting sports. You have to be tough to be the world's number one selling farm tractor. Mahindra tractors are tough thanks to more built-in weight, so they can safely pull flex-wing mowers and rescue neighbors stuck in the mud. And you're tough too. You haul feed and pull a float on your hometown parade. Let's pray. And still make it to supper. Now that's tough. Sounds like we have a lot in common. Mahindra, the official tractor of tough. CEC, Civil and Environmental Consultants, is West Virginia's fastest growing engineering firm. We are a national firm providing local engineering and environmental solutions. CEC plays a vital role in creating jobs and opportunities for West Virginians. CEC is invested in the sustainable growth and success of our communities, employing local experts to tackle the area's most challenging projects. For more information, visit us at wearecec.com. CEC, Civil and Environmental Consultants. Big firm opportunities, small firm culture. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Mahindra of Clarksburg and these fine sponsors. Closed captioning has been brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated. Man, Dave, I got to the stand early that day. I was flipping through my phone. You know how you do before your a long evening hunt. Oh, and yeah. I heard something crunching. I looked down and this coyote's right in the middle of the Grandpa Special Mix, crunching like crazy. I get my camera out. I turn it on him. I'm just happy to get some footage of a coyote. And I thought, man, I could kill this thing. So I reach up, grab my bow, put his lights out. Yes, you did. And not only that, Jim, lightning actually strikes twice. Let's take a look. Hey guys, uh, we got it done on another coyote this morning, the second Saturday in a row. I killed a male last Saturday and I killed this female this Saturday, uh, both with the bow out of the same stand, pretty much within 10 yards of each other. Uh, my target bucks have been coming in after dark. Every now and again, you catch them on the, the, the inside of the daylight or right before dark, but uh, for the most part, they're staying in the dark. And I think it's because these coyotes are just living right here. So. I killed the male last Saturday and I killed the female this Saturday. So hopefully uh, it'll calm down in there and them deer will start uh, using that area in the daylight. But uh, I would have done an interview in my tree stand, but I had another buck come in uh, right after I shot this, a little spike. Uh, he didn't want anything to do with it. He got close enough to see that yoke laying there and uh, he turned around and went the other way. 
But uh, another exciting hunt. Uh, can't believe it. You know, two, two coyotes with a bow. Uh, pretty awesome. And uh, we want to thank you very much for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Wow, Jim Davis, the first two weeks of West Virginia bow season and you kill two coyotes with your bow. I tell you what, it wasn't what I was looking for, but when you see a coyote, it turns from a deer hunt to a coyote hunt. Absolutely. And up next week, we got two exciting hunts for you. First off, we're going to head to Harrison County, Jim, and you're going to film your future son-in-law, Alex, shoot his first deer with a bow. And then we're going to head off with the field staffer, Trey Chris, and he's going to shoot a nice buck with his crossbow. Hey, be sure to follow along with us on our Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube and our Carbon TV channels where you can watch all of our hunts anytime. And we'll see you right here next week.